guys in the last video we had a little problem with our subscriptions so we're authenticating with a token and a refresh token which we pass to our connection params but what's happening is our connection params are only getting run once and so if we log in after our connection params have already been run we get a problem so here I am just printing the connection params when we connect um, and these tokens are the ones getting passed to uh, our server when we do a WebSocket connection, which is what we do when we do subscriptions. So it's using these tokens to authenticate. So if these tokens aren't the right ones, we can't authenticate. So let me show you this in action. So if I click on application and I just remove my both my tokens. Um, so I'm just a random user and I refresh. Uh, notice how the tokens are both set to null. So when I sign in with Bob, they shouldn't be null anymore, and they're not if I come over here to application. But notice how that does not get run again. So it passes the null tokens to the server, and we get not authenticated. Now, I tried some different things out, but I couldn't figure out how to like, well, I couldn't figure out how to get it to work with Apollo. Because what we wanted to do is have either some middleware or something, where we pass the tokens to our WebSocket connection, but I couldn't get it to work. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. It's sad that this cannot authenticate. What you have to do is now just refresh and it will work. Um, the other way for sure you can get this to work is by passing uh, the token and the refresh token as arguments to our subscription. Um, but we'd have to do that here and here. And if we add any other subscriptions, we'd have to do that for that too. So it doesn't scale very well and it's really annoying. So I don't really want to implement that right now. I kind of want to see if I can figure this out um, and we'll see how that goes. Now there's one quick thing I also wanted to uh, mention and that is, remember how we were doing transactions with our uh, team. So we have a mutation over here and where are we doing transaction? Here we go. Uh, we're actually doing transactions wrong, and this is my fault. I actually messed up these transactions. I was under the impression that because these guys, these three functions, are wrapped in this transaction function, that they would all be run in a transaction automatically. But that is wrong. So there's actually a transaction parameter that gets passed to this function that we're supposed to pass to each one of these guys to tell it which transaction it's a part of. Um, and it's just an option at the end here. So we just pass in transaction like that. And we pass it at the end of that guy as well. And him as well. So they all have the same transaction that they're running in. Um, which makes sense, right? Because we need to tell um, these three statements that they're all running in a transaction and which transaction they're running in. Um, so now our transaction actually works correctly. So that's good. And that's all I wanted to talk about uh, coding wise in this. Now we could be adding features on forever with Slack. So I kind of wanted to take a quick stop and check in with you guys and see how it's going. Um, what features you guys would like to see. Um, here are a few that I just wrote down and that I've seen you guys comment about and have sent me emails about of functions you'd like to see or features you'd like to see. Um, I'm not going to go through each one of these. What I'll do is I'll post this um, in the description below. And if you could just comment on this video and say which one you'd like to see. And then I will, whatever gets the most popular um, upvotes, I'll pick that one and pick those features and implement them. And just go from there. So just a couple of them. Uh, I recently just picked up using Docker and I really like it. So we could deploy this guy. To pretty much, we can we can deploy this guy using Docker. I'll show you guys how to set that up if you want. To, uh, if anyone's interested in Docker, if not, we can still just add uh, any other features you guys want to see. There's a lot of stuff we could do with this, um, and anything that's not on the list too that you'd like to see, feel free to leave a comment below. I might have missed it, or there's other stuff you'd like to see. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for the future of this. I'm just gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna kind of just stop developing. Uh, general stuff and just go straight with what you guys want to see so that's it for this video guys um, I'll push up the code for this where we just add the uh, transaction 
And uh, yeah, let me know. Make sure to upvote and comment what you'd like to see in the future videos for uh, Slack. And if not, we can move on to the next project. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.